Yo, I knew, I knew ever since I was young, I knew I was a horny little. It was a problem. Horny little what? Yeah, I was a horny little. It was problematic. Yeah, I really do. You know what? But what was crazy was when I was with my um, my ex, we only made content together. I didn't film with anyone else but him. We met through Jada. Yeah. And I looked up your stuff. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was really, really interesting. Yeah. It was really interesting. You so Googled me. I did. I did. <laughs> I did. Um, so how'd you get started? Like, first, let's introduce you. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Victoria. Okay. I'm... That's your camera. So anytime you want to talk. So okay. <laughs> I'm Victoria. I'm 23 years old. Um, I'm from Brazil. Brazilian. Okay. And I'm living in Miami now. So. Miami. Yeah. Fun time. Toxic. Okay. <laughs> but fun. Very fun. I guess. Work. Yeah, yeah. I, I never stayed there long long enough to see. I, I think the longest I stayed in Miami was probably like maybe a week. A week. A week and a half. And that was a lot. Yeah. It was really late. It's a lot to handle. Sometimes. Yeah. But where are you from? Like originally, um, how'd you get started? Tell us your story. Yeah. So I'm from, I'm actually from up north, um, outside of Philadelphia. I don't know. If, every time I say Downingtown, people don't know. So I just say Philly. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm from the suburbs, and I. So it's like the suburbs of Philly. Yeah, it's like the suburbs. Like it's like um 40 minutes from Philly. Every time I say Downingtown, people are like, "Look at me, a little strange." No one knows what Downingtown is, okay. so I just say Philly, and then people are like, "I'm like, you know what? I can't win." So outside suburbs of Philly, okay. Makes sense. You got me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So when I when I googled you, mm-hmm. I realized like you were like popping, like successfully. Mm-hmm. So yeah. how did that happen? Yeah, so a uh, funny story. I um so I was living with my parents. I was going to college at the time and I met this guy who was my ex. Um and we were together. I was always uh, I always had a big following on Instagram. I always did like Fashion Nova, I worked with like, you know, certain brands and I did like Fashion Nova deals and I had like a, a large following on on social media um before I had any any work done. So it was natural, natural. And um my boyfriend at the time was like, hey, you should do premium Snapchat. You know, it's good money. And you just take pictures of yourself. And you, I had a bunch of guys always paying me for like, they would cash at me or like send me money for like, you know, just like pictures. And I would just send them stuff. And it was it was good money. You like, you know, they would ask for like booty pics. Okay. Like I wasn't doing nothing crazy yet. I was just okay. like booty pics and a thong. You know, sometimes people have like feet fetishes, like feet photos, really? you know. So for me, I was in school. So it was like good money here and there. You know, it was, it was good for me. And then my my boyfriend was like, you know, you should you should do premium Snapchat. So I was like, you know, I'll give it a try. So I started with the premium Snapchat and I was, I was like, okay, this is this is great money, you know, and I was I was enjoying it. I was I was only doing like booty pics, nothing too crazy yet. I was just but like a G string booty pic. Yeah. Yeah. It had you know, has some impression in the man's head or the person's yeah. head or what they were looking at. Oh for sure. Yeah. And it was crazy. So then I was then he was like, you know, you should do OnlyFans. So <clears throat> this is about Three, four years ago, I've been doing OnlyFans for about four years now. And you're like 20... 23. 23. So you started when you were 19. Yeah, I was a baby. I was, oh. I was still living in my parents' house at the time, which was crazy. So when me and him started, at first, you know, I, I started slow, like most people do. You know, they start with, like, just pictures and teasers. And I was making crazy money at the time for me. I was in school, so I was like, this is great. I don't have to work a job. I was, you know, I was working at a, a consignment store, Style Encore. So okay. I was working there and going to school, so... For me to be able to quit my job and have, you know, a little bit OnlyFans money, it was it was great for me. You know, I got my first car. And That's so th- that, that must have felt good. Yeah, it really did. I know I was living at my mom's and, you know, the thing is, is like my family, they, they, they you know, I don't come from a very rich family. So right. for me to be able to support myself, you know, get myself a nice car. I had like a busted Nissan Altima <laughs> and I, it barely drove. So for me to be able to get myself, I got a Range Rover at the time. It was, you know, it felt good. I was like, wow. Yeah, that you know. has to feel. If, when a guy does it, like, he makes it in sports or something, it's like, oh, wow, you made yeah. it out. But when a woman does it, it's like, y'all got a different look. Yeah. So then, you know, once I started seeing the money come in, I was like, I feel like once I was like, okay, what if I do a little bit more? Okay. So then me and my boyfriend at the time were filming, you know, boy-girl videos. Okay. And once I posted my first boy-girl hey, video. What's, in, what's inside? The, you got to describe what's a boy-girl video. What happens yeah. in there? So it was actually the first one. Oh gosh! 
What was the first one? It's so funny because if you pull up like my first boy girl video that from now it's like completely different. I was like shy and you know I was a little scared because I was filming at my my parents' house at the, at the time because they didn't, I didn't know. Well, my mom kind of was like, "Where are you getting this money from?" But I told her I had like a sugar daddy, so my mom was like, she was looking at me a little funny, but you know my mom be with the shit, so she's like, "Girl, get your money, girl. I'm mad at you." But my stepdad was like, you know, he was a little like he wanted me to finish school. You know, he's he's from Hong Kong, so his in his culture, like school is very important. You know, he put it like that I really need to graduate. So for you know me to be like focusing on something else for him, it was like it was. What'd you go to school uh, for? Uh, business and finance. So you're in business now and finance. Yeah, I went to Westchester University. Okay. Yeah, so. But I was making so much money, so then I was filming in my mom's house, so it was very difficult. And I think that's part of the reason why I was probably able to honestly get a big fan base because my content was very generic and authentic. Like it was, I really was doing what I said. Like filming at my mom's house had to be quiet so my mom didn't catch us fucking. And it was real shit. Like if you look at my videos, you could tell. Like if you could tell the vibe. Like it really was like you know my room, and it was like you know we weren't really loud in the videos, and it was just it was really like natural and authentic. So. For a while, I was making a lot of content in my mom's house, and I don't know why. I guess men just like had like a turn it's a on. turn on in the yeah. mind. Yeah. Was it? So the first one, you was like bent over, you was like giving a head, you was doing everything in the first one. Yeah, like a lot of them were like masturbation videos more than like boy girl because um you know it was hard for me and him to like fuck because <laughs> it was it was it's hard to be quiet when you're fucking. But sure. for the masturbation videos, it was a little bit easier. You know, I would like turn, I would go in the bathroom, I would turn the shower on. And I would put like a tripod and like while the shower was running, I would like, you know, I would get it done while in the shower. So, but, you know, once I started making so much money, like once I started putting more content out there, I started making so much What's money. so much money if you want to share? I, yeah, I think for, well, the best month I ever had on OnlyFans, I made $200,000. 200 grand in a month? Yeah, in one month. Shit. Yeah, $200,000. That was my best month. How much did he get out of it? So at the time we I was giving him thirty percent. Okay. So you guys he was, agreed on that from the so he's with it. That's sixty grand for him. Yeah, he was getting a lot of money. Yeah, he was getting and all, all he was really doing was fucking me on camera. Yeah. I mean So I mean shit. <laughs> he's doing his part and yeah. enjoying it. Yeah. It was it you know, it really is a business. Like people always say that OnlyFans is, is not a real job. First of all, you see how much I pay in taxes. It definitely is a real motherfucking job. Yeah. And that makes two, sense. it takes a lot of work. Of course, of course, people don't realize, you know, like you got to pay taxes on this shit, like, yeah. and that shit is a lot of money. And I know some girls out there too that that are in my industry that pay three to four hundred thousand dollars in taxes. Yeah. So like, people think that you know it's not a job, you know, it's not a real job. Like, they get think a like real y'all job. getting over. Yeah, but they don't even know the half of it. You know, it takes a lot, and it it takes a lot of sacrifice too to be able to, you know, have people look at you a different way because of what you do. Like, because you got to deal with that part. Yeah, for sure. Like with my family. You know, when I I was making so much money that I dropped out of school to pursue my OnlyFans career because I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, I'm making so much money doing this that like I don't know what realistic, realistically what career could make me this much money. Probably not. You a know, lot. that's not a lot. So I was like, I'm gonna take full advantage of this now because who knows how long OnlyFans is gonna be around for? And I can even say that now, you know, because right. they even had like a scare with like it was gonna be shut down. They did. So, they did have to fuck with you for that. Yeah. That was marketing. It, it's crazy. It is just. So I was like, you know, I'm going to ride this wave until I can't ride it anymore. So I really took full advantage. You know, I started making so much money. I got my own place. And, you know, we started really going in on the content. And I really went hard. Like, you know, I really put, like, my best foot forward. And I made a lot of content, a lot of videos. So tell me, what's a day, what's a shooting day like for you? Well, like, for me, a shooting day, I always, it's a lot. You know, you wake up, you got to pay to get hair, you got to get makeup done. And then when I first started, I really wasn't getting, like, my hair and makeup done a lot. I was just kind of doing it myself, you know. But once I started, like, doing it more often, I was just like, okay, I'm, I'm tired. I need someone to just, you know, you get you get used to, like, the, the finer things that come along with it, you know. Getting hair and makeup done is just, like, it's part of it. It's like a scene, you know, you're shooting something. So, like, in most, when most people shoot movies or, you know, they get, they get their hair and makeup done. So that was a luxury that I had. And um, it was it was nice. You know, you get it's for me. It was it was fun. I really enjoyed it. You know, I'm a very sexual person. So for me to be able to. Yeah, for sure. Ever since, yo, I knew I knew ever since I was young, I knew I was a horny little. It was a horny little what? Yeah, I was a horny little bitch. It was just it was problematic. Yeah, I really do. You know what? But what was crazy was when I was with my um, my ex, we only made content together. I didn't film with anyone else but him. You never mess with nobody. I 
Well, off camera, but on camera, I only filmed with him, which was, you know, my fans were satisfied because he had, he was, you know, he had a BBC. So that's what, that's all they wanted. Yeah, you know, that's what they that. fantasized about. So they were happy with the size. They were happy with the content. But I think one time, I think when we were together, we were together for four years, out of the four years, I made a video. Well, we, we, we did it for like two years. We were together like, you know, before we started it. But when we were doing it. You, you were we, working together for two years. Well, we were in a relationship before we started to do the OnlyFans. Four years all together. Yeah. So, but we were probably working together for just me and him before we like broke up and we stopped working together for like two two years. So in that span, I wasn't filming with anyone else. He wouldn't let me. So, um, but I, if I was able to film with other people, I know I'd make ten times the amount. Hold on, hold on. Let's, <laughs> let, I, I'm trying to get the timeline right. Yeah. You and him been together for four years. Yeah. But you started OnlyFans two years into your relationship. Um, I want to say about, so I met him when I was 17, 18. Okay. So, eight. yeah, he slid in my DM and asked to be my sponsor. So he slides in your DM. Yeah. And he's like, I want to be a sponsor. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. He, I don't know. He's just sound like some dude who he wasn't just trying to fuck. He saw your potential. Mm -hmm. He was like, yo, she good. Yeah. You know what? At the end of the day, you know, even though me and him are not together, I, you know, I give my credit where it's due and yeah. we did it together, you know, so I really, you know, even though right now we may not be together, but at the end of the day, I, you know, I'm always going to give someone credit where it's due and I appreciate him for pushing me to be a hoe and, um, <laughs> you know, it's all love and just because some people don't work out, I, you know, I always got love for him, but you I, think you know. he pushed you into it because, or he suggested it well, or like, he kind of played on your mm -hmm. money game, like. Like if I if you if you make if you're mm -hmm. doing Snapchat premium mm -hmm. or you're doing shit in front of me, I'm assuming you guys were pretty honest and you were getting cash apps. And he's mm -hmm. like, yo, you know you can make more money this way. Mm -hmm. And then you went on premium. He's like, yo, you know you can mm -hmm. make more money this way. Yeah. Was he that kind of person? Yeah, no, for sure. I think honestly, like for most of our relationship, we stayed together more because we were making so much money together than we were really in love with each other. It was more of a beneficial relationship for the both of us. Because it's hard to find a guy out here that will, like, really film with you and, you know, that you can, like, depend on that wants to put in the work and then also, you know, is, like, consistent with it. And it's, it's hard these days because men do see some women like me as an opportunity, you know, yeah. not only for finance, but, oh, I get to fucking OnlyFans girls. It's like a facade that some men fantasize yeah, about. And make 60 grand in a month. That's a lot him, of motherfucking his money. Oh, yeah. And, you know, what's crazy is even after, I think I could talk about this now that the case is over, but he... After we broke up, he sued me. He sued you. Yeah, we had to go to court and everything. So I had, a, you know, we settled and I had to pay him out. But course, it, it's yeah. like crazy because I gave, I, I think I've given him, given him over, I'm correct, over five hundred thousand dollars. He's received from from you over five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So I have a question. I'm not defending mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. I'm not defending him. Yeah. Do you think that you would have been? Because I know you're still making a lot of money now. Mm -hmm. Do you think that you would have still been financially where you are now without him? You know what? That's a hard question. Yeah, that's because true. I'm like, would I have met someone else? That's true. Who knows? Would I have been able to film with more guys and even made more money? Who knows? Would I have went the full porn star route if I wasn't with him? You know what I mean? Because I wouldn't have had that guidance to kind of just be like, no, like, you know, don't put yourself. Because I was considering, you know, going into the, in the real, and like, you know, the porn industry. and Before him, anyway. Yeah, because, you know, I was like, oh, I know you can, like, reach more audience and make... But, you know, he was like, no, stay exclusive. Don't do that. That, like, ruins your brand. Like, but, you know, I mean, I know a lot of girls that are in the industry that make a shit ton of money. They don't so, make more money than you. Um, It depends. You know, there's obviously, like, the top porn star girls. There's some girls out there that, like, you know, the, like, top porn stars that make, like, 400000 a month. So, yeah, for sure. It's crazy. Because, you know, they reach that large audience through their videos. They they get millions and millions of views. So, you know, you get... To, but it's it's not there's a handful of girls you know okay. that like people really pick you know like okay. and you, if you actually go on like um Pornhub you can see like the top porn stars I don't know if you watch porn a lot but I do I do um not yeah. a lot but I, I do watch it <laughs> yeah you yeah you can see like it'll tell you like the number one number it'll tell you like trending and all that fun stuff so you can kind of see based off that like you know which and you could whenever you're like searching on Pornhub I know I watch a lot of porn but you can see like what you know trending searches yeah, and stuff like watch. that. I like really weird porn. Let's you know, I'm weird. I I don't know. I like like I've never had a gangbang done to me, but I've always like fantasized about getting gangbanged. So I watch a lot of like gangbang porn. How many in a gangbang? For me personally, like I, I would if I were to start, I would start with the DP. But what I like Double to watch, I like, yeah. So two guys. Yeah, 
I've done it with like toys and stuff, but, and like, but it's not the same, you know. I get it. Yes, I'm a big anal fan, and my fans know I get a lot of anal content. In. Yeah, yeah, they love that. That's like one of my best selling is anal and like boy girl and like solo squirt videos. No girl, girl. It depends on the girl. Like it, some girl, girl videos sell if it's more like um they look like me, like we're both okay. similar they, body types. Want that same. Yeah, look, like thick, yeah. big booty. You know, like that they like, but it's. They're very picky, but they love anal. That's like the number one. Yeah. Yeah. You I don't love know why. Anal. Yeah. But you know what? It's so crazy though because I'm a I'm a I'm a lover girl. I'm a relationship type of girl. So I feel like I've always been in a relationship. As soon as I broke up with my ex, I got into a new relationship. So I'm like I'm always, I'm only filming with one person. Well, when when I went through a break, um, <laughs> with my ex, I like filmed with like a couple guys, and how'd you find them? Um, you know what's so funny is um, I don't know if you ever seen my Twitter. I'm big on Twitter, like uh, a lot of I'm, Twitter I'm, I've just been introduced to you, but I will follow you, my wife, and I will follow. Yeah. you just moving forward. Yeah. So like Twitter porn is a big thing. I don't know. I I love. Oh, I've Twitter seen porn. that. Yeah. I've seen. There's this girl named jo- Josia. Mm-hmm. There's one girl on Twitter that I've seen, and they they put every they, porn yeah. is like full fledged on Twitter. Oh yeah, Twitter is is lit. The Twitter is lit. Yeah. So, um, I was this guy was DMing me on Twitter, and he had like a huge. It was like crazy. It's like wow. And I was like, you know what? My fans would enjoy this. Let me let me film with him. So I made a would couple. Would you enjoy it? Yeah. You know what? It is not really about the length necessarily. Okay. It's more about the curve and the the like the girth because like even though it may be really long, it's not painful because it's like it's a little curved. So it's not really like hitting. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it was actually very enjoyable, and it's one of my best selling videos. And I only ever filmed one video with one white guy. Okay. He's Colombian, but white guy, and that's also my best line video because it's the only white guy I ever fucked on camera. And it did really well. Oh yeah, that one and and the guy that I just that I met on Twitter that I filmed with. Um, you like work a, out a set deal with them? Do you say, hey, you get to fuck me? I keep the content. Mm-hmm. Like, how does it work on the business end of it? Um, usually like I'll pay them, and then I keep the content. And they don't fee. get the right. Just get yeah, a yeah, and I keep the rights to the content. I sell the videos, but honestly, like it's it's in this industry, like it's harder for men to make money than it is. I would think, a lot yeah. harder, yeah. So even though I'm like, I would feel bad because even if I sell the video and they, we both do, obviously my fans would buy it for me, yeah. and their fans, you know, would probably still support me versus them. It's it's kind of like messed up in this industry. It's harder for men, you know. Like people always ask me, they're like, I want to start OnlyFans, and like guys always ask me, like, how do I start? I, yeah, I even, yeah, that's kind of. I mean, it's hard. It's hard. Like you know, because obviously there are some men that do well, but you know, mostly like the big porn stars that do well that like are fucking a bunch of you know also. They're you fucking know, bigger girl. porn stars. Yeah. So it's like they make good money, but it's harder for the, the guys who aren't like in the industry or have a well-known name to start up unless, you know, you have like a really, you have certain features that are, you know, like yeah. you have a really big dick or, you know, you know how to fuck well or you do like certain things, you have a niche. Like it's su- super hard for men to get in this industry. So so now let's talk about your break. Mm-hmm. Was that Because you're young. You're still very young. Yeah. By the way. But now during this break, is usually what people call the whole phase. Yeah. Oh. So fuck what yeah. was your whole phase like? Oh my gosh. Well, I moved to Miami during oh, my whole phase. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's the the um, premium. Yeah. For whole phase. Yeah. And you know what's so crazy is because I I always have got a lot of attention on social media, but I was always in a relationship, so I never really like pursued my DMs or pursued men that would try to reach out to me, whether it would be for you know, hey, I want to pay you, or hey, I really want to fuck you, or like you know, we all have like celebrity crushes that we would you know fuck. Just to fuck, yeah, so yeah, right. you know, I, I kind of, I I did that and you um, your celebrity crushes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh. Yeah. How's that? What's that like? It was, you know, it was. It wasn't what I thought it was. It was disappointing. I expected more. What do you mean? But they fuck a lot of girls. You know, when you expect to get that gangster dick, you just expect them to do you. You know what I'm saying? You just expect something. I'm like, you know, what? I had more faith in you. You know? Okay. Yeah. Tell us a story without telling us a name. Okay. No names. no names. Not even something that would insinuate the celebrity's okay. name. But tell yeah. us a story without yeah. telling us a name. So it was one of my favorite rappers. Um, and I met him at when I was at Ball Harbor. I ran into him. I was shopping and he was shopping. And I took a picture with him and he gave me a hug. And then um, I got back in my car and one of his um, homeboys came out and was like, yo, like, he wants your number. You know, he wants to see you. I'm like, okay, shit. So I took his number down. We started texting. And the same night, he's like, pull up. Like, I, I knew what was up. I knew. And I was like, you know what? I'm single. Shit, I'm, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to see what's up. And, you know, we we were we were vibing. We were getting lit. And, you know, I was I was horny. I was like, let me see what this dick is like. So 
be fucked but you know i feel like once you meet your like celebrity crush they always disappoint like it's like whether that whether it be not necessarily about like the sex yeah they say that with your idol when you meet your idols yeah the you. and he was just like there was a bunch of bitches there and like he was y'all fucked in the open or y'all fucked in the room in like this rec- uh, recording studio okay we, we fucked yeah so it was just like i mean it was kind of spontaneous it was sexy at the time yeah, but then, head? no i didn't give him head we just kind of went right into the yeah he yeah. just wanted he wanted to get in that ass yeah he wanted to yeah he was like you my type i was like mm, okay don't do me like that and it was, it was, but you know what? There were so many bitches there and it was just so like, damn, like y'all just, it's just like, it's kind of gross. It's kind of like a turnoff when a man is just like, what, like, but that's how these, you know. What do you mean it's kind of turnoff? What, what was the turnoff? Like? I feel like that's how most of these rappers and, you know. There's like, too many girls there. You yeah, there was a lot of girls there. It was kind of like a fuck wanted. fest. It was like a fuck fest. Like it was fucking mad bitches there. Like after he fucked me, he fucked another bitch. In front of you. Well, not in front of me, but it was kind of like. You know, I knew what was up. Like, after it was done, he was like, okay, you know. And then me and my homegirls were there, and he was, like, talking to, like, the next group of girls. And then it was, like, the same thing. And I'm just like, damn, boo, like, how many bitches you going to fucking one night? As many as you can. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, you know what? I'm turned off. Like, this is crazy. So after that, I had that, like, encounter and experience. I was kind of just like, you know what? If he hit you up right now and say, yo, I'm coming through. I'm in New York. I know you're in New York. Let's chill for the night. I'm saying. Definitely not. That dick was not worth it. And, you know, it was just. I, I experienced it. You know, I went through something that I thought I wanted to do, like a little, you know, dream I had. And then I'm like, okay, it's not what I thought it was going to be. I feel like for me, the best like sex is honestly with like the porn star guys. Like they know how to put it down. They know how to make you come. They last, you know, they know. Why everybody always say porn is fake? You know what? It can be, you know what? Well, for me, I, I think I only ever fucked two guys that were really in the industry. But the one that I fucked off Twitter that was some that was some good dick. And he you good. Yeah, he wanted to fuck me off camera too. And I was like, mm, this is not, you know what? If I get caught up on this dick, like, let me not. Hooked. Let's just fuck on camera. Hooked. Yeah. I got hooked. Yeah. He was trying to make you this girl. Yeah, for sure. He was like, let's fuck off camera. And I'm like, mm, I know there's some good pussy, but we're not, we're not going to do that. Okay, you got gonna, pussy. Yeah, he was like, I was like, no, listen, but we're going to, but I've heard he's done that with a couple girls. I'm just like, oh, like he turns them out. Yeah, he wants to like fuck off camera and that she's like, I was like, you got control over him. Yeah, so I was like, you know what? But that's that that type of dick is like, okay, I'll, I would do it again, and it makes me hella money, you okay. know. But like for me, I feel like since I have like, sex for me is a little bit different. I would rather personally have sex with someone that I have a connection to, and like really like fuck with and vibe with. Like for me, it's more about passion than it is about um, because you know, like for me, it's just like if I, okay, obviously we're gonna have good sex. I'm gonna film it. We make money. But for me, like off camera, when it's just me, I want to like fuck someone that I really vibe with and like I'm passionate about. You know, that's so, more. So, um, so on camera, you fuck. Mm-hmm. Off camera, it's like passion and love. Yeah, that's that's for me. That's what gets me going. Like it's easier for me, and like I don't know. I just feel like every because you know I'm a lover girl. I love I love to be in a relationship. I love to have a man. I love to have. You know, I like to be catered to, even though I, I do the OnlyFans, and of course, but I haven't found a man that is okay with me filming with other people and still is like, okay. But you real about it. You know? Yeah. But I just, they're like, no, every every partner I've had, they're like, you're only filming with me. And we film with other girls. Like, we have threesomes and orgies and all that fun stuff. But I haven't found a partner yet that's like, okay, you know what? You're my girl. I love you. I get that this is just work, and I'm going to let you film with is other it, guys is it is it just work or is it uh, 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 is it a pass to do what you really want to do because you yeah. want to experience other men like you yeah. naturally on or off camera mm-hmm. you made because you say you're very sexual mm-hmm. so even in a relationship do you feel guilty about the fact that you're a lover girl who want to experience other men or do you want to get the money it's. It, I mean, I'm gonna keep it real. Sometimes I want my cake and I want to eat it too, you know. But so do so do men. Like for example, like my partner now. Like obviously he has me, and then we have threesomes on and off camera because we're both girls. sexual people. Yeah. Okay. He. W- I know. I've. I've asked to bring another man in it, and he's declined. Okay. But you know. But it's a desire that you do have. Yeah, I would love that if he was comfortable. That I would love to have a you know threesome with him and another guy. But he's. That's not something that he's comfortable with. But it's just weird to me. It's like. How is that fair? Like, I have to, I can fuck other bitches with you, but you're not comfortable 
doing that with me. I feel like it's kind of like that. Yeah, I always wonder that, right? I, I talk to a lot of girls, and we talk about threesomes all the time. Mm -hmm. And having them or talking about them. And girls, some girls would be like, well, I naturally don't want to have another dude. I just want another girl because I'm more on the mm -hmm. bisexual side. And I, mm -hmm. it makes me question because then you have the other group of girls who says, well, if it's good for you, mm -hmm. It should be good for me. Yeah. And Jada, you know, um, Jada always says, she was like, no, I want multiple guys, just like you want multiple girls. Yeah. And Jada is very courageous. She says it out there and she puts it out there. Mm -hmm. So um, are you suppressing your desire or are you just respecting your relationship? Yeah, you know what? I I feel like I'm not really, like, bisexual like that. Like, I like dick, straight up. I like dick. I'm going to keep it real. Like, if I, you know, if, maybe if I'm, like, turned on, it's, like, a good moment in time, like, okay, I'll fuck a bitch. But, like, for me personally, like with the threesomes, I more do it for him and his pleasure or for content. But it's not really like, because for me personally, it's hard to find a girl that's really freaky, that really in, is enjoying it. Like it's it's hard. Like that's why sometimes we'll just pay a bitch. You know what I'm saying? But like, because it's hard. Even when you're paying a bitch, it's just not enjoyable because they're just doing it to get do it, money, to yeah. get money. So it's like, it's rare occasions where I have found a, a female that's really freaky and wants to eat my pussy while I'm getting fucked from the back or you know, I eat her pussy and she's enjoying it or she enjoys me and my partner. There I, there have been, you know, a few encounters where I found girls like that, okay. but not often. So it's really hard to have like a threesome that I can enjoy. And obviously he's going to enjoy it because he's fucking, you know, fucking her and whatever. But for me to enjoy it, it's hard. So I feel like, okay, if the roles are reversed and there was two guys, I would, you know, I would enjoy it. But it's, I feel like it's harder for men to oh, witness that. I, I don't think a lot of men can go for that. Yeah. You know, and I and I get it, but... You know, I talked about this a thousand times, but it's very, it's more difficult for men. Yeah. But going back to you, it's like, it sounds like you want to live your real life mm -hmm. on camera. Yeah, on and off camera, you know, and I feel like being in a relationship definitely does suppress me from doing that. You know, out of respect for him, I don't do certain things. You respect I don't... your relationship, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, but you know what, honestly, it definitely does uh, fuck up my bag at times, you know, because I'm only filming with him and... You know, my fans are always like, I want to see you fuck someone else. Or, you know, his, they complain about his dick not being big enough or certain things. So it's like, up your money. it does fuck up my money, you know, but it's like, damn, what do I value more? You know, like a relationship with someone or that's why sometimes I am conflicted. I'm like, damn, you know, I'm I'm only 23 and I'm, you know, I'm holding myself so back so much yeah. for a man that I don't know if I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. You know, you, you, you come off like you're very smart, right? You, mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to say the word smart. I'm not going to even use the word intelligent. Mm -hmm. But if you put the word that I'm going to say between those two, it will define to both of those. Mm -hmm. You come across very forward thinking. Mm -hmm. You think about later. Because yeah. you probably like, if you're in this game after 30, I think you'd be like, oh, it's cool. But to you, it doesn't matter because you're taking the game a day at a time and you're yeah. maxing it out. Yeah. Right? Which is the way you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Financially. Because you know how this goes, right? Yeah. If, you, if you're out this game at 30 and you die at 90, Right. You need money for 60 years. Yeah. It's a long time to need money. Yeah. Right? So if you have that window, I don't know, women are so soft. Like, mm -hmm. like you will fuck up your money just for love. Yeah. And that's where it's like, it's very conflicting, you know, and that's something that I... Not to get in your head. I'm just no, saying No, no, no. I, this is something I think about a lot. This is actually something that's like a big argument in my relationship is because it's like, you know, for him, it's just like he out of he is big on respect. So he's like, I don't want you out there filming or fucking anybody else, even though it's just content. And I'm obviously not going to pursue a relationship with that person. You know, I'm not going to entertain that person. I'm not sleeping in the bed with that person. I'm not making love to that person. But for a man, just to out of respect, because it's like, oh, his argument is, how do I look? Um, and you're fucking multiple men, you know. And I'm like, at the end of the day, for a guy, but... at the end of the day, I'm the breadwinner in most of my relationships. So it's should, like, man. yeah. So you're it's so like I'm bringing the money home, you know. Like at the end of the day. Who cares what people think? We're getting paid. You know, we're living a lavish lifestyle. And you get to live this lavish lifestyle because of me. You. Yeah. So it's just like, it's very conflicting at times. At times I'm like, you know what? I feel like I'd rather just be single and live my best life and not have to worry about it. But then there's part of me that obviously every woman wants, you know, someone at the end of the day, every woman wants to come home to someone. Not every woman, but most women, you know, want to have someone they can talk to, they can rely on. So. I don't think, I don't see you like trying to be single, but I do see you having to pull that I'm the boss card. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. it's not easy to be a boss. A boss mm -hmm. has to not be liked. 
Yeah. And it, it, yeah, you know, mostly with someone my age that's made so much money at yeah. such a young age. And, you know, in the beginning, I definitely didn't know how to, you know, take my money because I made, I made over $4 million on OnlyFans. That's, that's a lot of money. So for me, in the beginning, I wasn't really smart with it because my, my partner that I had before wasn't helping me invest my money. Yeah, BMF, and, grow money fast. Yeah. So now, um, you know, I bought jewelry, I bought a car, I got a G Wagon, I bought, you know, all these, all these things that are nice, of course. And it's, you know, it's like a flex, but. For me, now that I'm a little bit older, I've realized young and, and pretty quick that, you know, I need to put my money into things that really matter. I'm going to make me money in the long run and invest my money. But you're going to have something tomorrow. But, yeah. that's, but that's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. And again, we just met and you mm -hmm. seem very smart girl, like mm -hmm. I said, forward thinking. But my thing is that if you your own boss, and you have this huge opportunity to make this type of money. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no way you're going to try to be like, mm -hmm. you know, no one really likes For that sure. boss. Yeah, of course. And you know what's so crazy is like mostly a lot of women in my industry that like are the boss and then we make hella money is just they do them. They don't have, you know, and I know there's there's some girls in my industry that have a they are married and have a husband and kids and their husband is OK with he them, has to be okay with you know, it. going and, and their husband is actually very supportive as to where they go on set with them. Yeah, well, I, mean, I don't them. I don't know about, you know, set for that husband, but but I'm just saying in <laughs> general, like if, if you're looking at it for what it is, right? Mm hmm. Most people, are, again, like I said, they don't like their boss. Mm -hmm. But I would say in your relationship, and I don't know your relationship, but I'm saying it feels like it's more of a balance, right? It's mm -hmm. more like, hey, my work is my work. Mm -hmm. I'm the boss. Yeah. At home, you're the boss. Right. If my work requires me to do this, yeah. that's exactly what I'm going to do. If my work requires me to do this, like, yeah. you, like, you know, as a man, I could not even imagine a woman, yeah, and I'm married, a woman coming to tell me how to move in my work. It was right. just sounds crazy to me. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's that's where it's like, okay, where do you, you know, draw boundaries in your relationship or where is it, what is okay and what is not okay? So with me, it, it definitely gets, you know, very conflicting and that's something that me and him go back and forth about a lot because he just is not okay with that. But for me, it's like, you know, it's like we're missing out on so much money and what's the harm because it's like for me, I mean, but people have different, you know, opinions and people see things differently. So for me to have, you know, fuck, different men on camera or he might also you know. be protecting you too. Yeah. maybe he knows you more than you think yeah and and honestly for for me at least to say like you know when you have sex with someone it's it's deeper than just you know sex like you're transferring energy it's a lot you know so to always be around different energy even with me to be around different girls all the time and film with girls and film with different men and strangers and just you know it's a lot it takes a lot out on your spirit it takes a lot of out on your you know your soul and it's it's not always the easiest. I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the, you know, the things that porn stars and women in my industry deal with. You know, you only see it's the money easy. and the you see the money, things. you see yeah. the flash. But you know, like I like I said to someone, um, I was saying this to someone. I was like, you know, people think money's money. Money's not money. Mm -hmm. It's how you get your money. Right. See how you get your money. Like if I got a million dollars and I got it because I sell lumber. Mm -hmm. to Home Depot. I got a contract. I sell lumber. I wake up at four in the morning. That's how I make my money. Right. Or in opposed to if I have a friend of mine, let's say he moves drugs, keys. He's He gets his money different. His shit, he got to deal with trying to, somebody might kill him. Mm -hmm. He might go to jail. He might, so many, so many things is involved in how he gets his money. So it's like your lifestyle and how you get your money always have to yeah. balance, right? Because you, you can't be like, I'm older than you, right? So when you was when the streets was crazy, you can't come in the streets and be naive. Mm -hmm. Like imagine making friends as a drug dealer. Yeah. How long would you last? Hard. You're gonna die. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get killed. You're gonna get robbed. Because that industry doesn't require friends. And if the minute you think you have friends in that industry, you're gonna fuck yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. People who survive that industry know how they get their money. Right. And they never fuck around with how they get their money, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah, not all money is good money. And, no, you know, no, it comes with a lot. No, all money is money. There's no yeah. good and bad when it comes to money. It's just money. Really? There's no I good disagree. And bad. No, it's just money. I don't know. I think, like, what I from what I learned is, you know, sometimes I feel like there's certain things that I, I wouldn't do for money. You know, like, I've been offered a lot of money to have sex with, you know, certain people and certain things. And I just feel like there are certain things that for money I wouldn't do just for the sake of, okay, you know, like, what what where where do you you know it's kind of like what people say like oh you you, you know you, you sell your soul a little bit as to where it's like okay where when is enough enough 
So if you, you know. look at it this way, right? <clears throat> There's think about the worst thing you wouldn't do for money that you mm. could profit. There's a girls that could do that shit for money, go to sleep at night, wake right. up, and it's nothing to that. It doesn't bother their soul. They go to mm-hmm. sleep at night. Yeah. Well, you do OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. There are girls who would do one OnlyFans and probably kill themselves because yeah. they couldn't live with themselves. Yeah, and they're on the internet. Yeah. It takes you know, a lot, you know? It's what you could live with. It's what you comfortable yeah. living with. I, For sure. It's like the analogy, like, you know, like, I can't see a regular human being going out there and killing somebody, yeah. right? Just go across the street and right. killing somebody. Yeah. But if I send you to Iraq or if I send you to Afghanistan, yeah. what you doing? I see I see what you're saying. You know, I get it, but but then it's like for me personally, I just feel like, you know, people are always like, How are you how do you okay with being on the internet? And you know, you, what does your mom think? What does your family think? And and for me it's like I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not robbing from anyone. I'm not stealing from anyone, you know, I'm not doing no one dirty. You hear all these stories about people stealing money from people and just people doing you know, awful things for some money. So for me, I'm I'm making these men bust a nut. They be they're happy. You know, I ain't doing nothing wrong. I'm not I'm fucking nobody's man on camera. You know what I'm saying? I'm not <laughs> I'm not doing nothing wrong. So for people to be like, oh, it's, that's that's sick and that's gross. And you know what's funny is a lot of girls that actually like refuse to do OnlyFans and like a lot of girls that were mostly like you know mostly girls in like the stripper industry that. So they would never do OnlyFans as soon as like the pandemic came. Oh, they was doing. They it. was doing it, you know. So it it's like when when people are in need, they gonna do they gonna do some shit that you know. And it's crazy because a lot of so many girls like judge OnlyFans girls, you know, and they're like, oh, that's how that could bothers you. Do that? you. Yeah, because like at the end of the day, people wanna people that it's like the girls that have the most shit to say are the biggest hoes off camera. 